10. Um, the next thing is if they're above 10, 10 to 20 pounds, you're going to go with a rebreathing system with your small Y tubing. This is going to connect here ex at your uh, uh, exhale, and you'll see that we have our viral bacterial filter right here. And this is going to connect here at the inhalation. And we are going to use again the small humid vent. So if it's small tubing, it's small humid vent. I'm sorry, you said 10 to 15 pounds? 10 to 20. 10, thank you. Yep, above 10, or I guess 11 to 20, technically. But okay. Yeah. Okay? And then we would use a small bag. Okay? Now, so is um, that one liter too? This is a one liter. Now, one thing I want you guys to also write down is a calculation that we're using to figure out what size <gasps> bag we need. Bless you. Because we do also have half liter bags if we need them, if we're doing any microsurgeries, but we rarely do a microsurgery. Most of our patients are required to be above four pounds before we will touch them for pre-anesthesia, okay? Unless it's like a chichihuahua that's, you know, <coughs> their head is this big and their body is mm -hmm. this big, and I don't want to anesthetize those either, but. Um, so the calculation to figure out your bag size is going to be 10 to 20 mils per kg times by five. 10 to 20 mils per kg times by five. All right, that is how you're going to figure out what the tidal volume is for your patient, and therefore you will know what size bag you need. So if our tidal volume is 800, what size bag am I going to use? Would you go up to one liter, or do you want to go smaller? You, their tidal volume is 800, so you always want to make sure that there's enough room for their tidal volume. Okay. So you would go up to the one liter. So if it's 1500, you go up to two. If it's you know. Um, like a 2800 or whatever, obviously that would be a three. So you always want to make sure that there's enough space for their tidal volume. So are the bags just one, two, three, or? That's what we have. And then we do have halves for the itty bitties. But like I said, I think in all the years I've been here, I've pulled out a half liter three times. I don't say like once. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, and then usually we find it's not working and we end up switching out for a one liter anyway. So, so it will depend on their weight for the, for the bag. But commonly, you're going to use a one liter with the small tubing. Okay? This here is a two liter for your two liter patients and then the three liter. Okay? That one's all stained. Okay. Um, and then next we have, for anybody over 20 pounds, you're going to go to the large tubing with the large humid vent. Okay? So from the ones that are 11 to 20 pounds, it's still one. Yes. Yep. All right. The other tubing I want to show you really quick here is the F tubing. So these are Y tubes. These are F tubes here. Um, this is, the green is the small, you can tell it's skinnier, it's smaller, and then the blue is the large, so these would be replacing the pediatric or the small and the large Y tubing. The thing that I like about these, the way that you hook these up, <coughs> look, it's even labeled for you, it says inspiratory. And then this pulls out and connects here. The thing that I like about these, personally, is they breathe in, inhale through the green <coughs> center tubing, and then they exhale around that tubing through the clear tubing, and then it goes out through your exhalation here. Um, so when they exhale, they're actually warming the air that they're inhaling. So it does help maintain body temperature a little bit better. Some of them are too small to where they can't push the oxygen or the, um, the gas through this well enough, and they end up struggling a little bit with keeping their uh, entitled CO2 down and their SpO2 up. So we will need to switch them to Y. Uh, but ones that maintain on it, uh, it works really nicely for helping to maintain temperatures. So that one's preferred over the light to me? It's a personal preference. I prefer it. I like them. I've used them a lot. Uh, but again, it's a personal preference. And you have to see how your patient does on it. So is it so. technician preference or doctor preference? Um, it depends on how much your doctor trusts you. <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Katie is okay with either. <coughs> Dr. Kramer doesn't. I mean, if you guys want to start out with these and see how they do, we can always do that. If you want to, you know, I, I honestly recommend trying both and playing with both. The other thing that I like about these is there's just one tube down by the patient. I have all this color, extra tubes. Uh, but I definitely want you guys using both so you get used to using both and, and everything. Okay? 
It's just F tubing. Yep. Does that heme vent thing go on that tube? It does. It does. Yep. Okay. The, the, uh, any of your tubings always gets a heme vent. So this one would get the small, and then the blue would get the large. Okay. Okay. Last thing for the machine that I want to go over really quick is filling your ISO and your SIVO. Uh, to fill your ISO, these are glass bottles. Don't drop them like I did and spray ISO all over the floor, and then we had to evacuate. <laughs> The prep room last quarter, um, so that was fun. Okay, um, but to fill the ISO, if this is off, nothing's gonna come off. I'm gonna undo this here. I'm putting it on my hands. And then you are going to, you're gonna use the gauge right here to see how full it is. You want it up to that top line when you start anesthesia. So that is done weekly. Yep, you're going to check it weekly. You're going to use this guy, pour it in, fill it up to that line. So you're going to be watching as you're pouring it in. And then once you're done, cap this, cap this, and away you go. You're ready to rock and roll. Okay? And it takes just a little bit of time for it to fill. So don't it fill the yeah. funnel. Yeah, don't. That you have more to fill because okay. it'll start to overflow if you fill right. the funnel and just wait for it. Yep, pour very slowly. Okay, so you want to pour slow as you're watching, and then once it starts getting close to that line, stop and see if it continues to fill, and then go from there, okay?